We're thrilled with the um, new development. Uh, what we're doing is uh, a series of initiatives, everything from uh, getting an identifiable logo for the women, uh, but also then we, we uh, the main point really is that we're, we're putting together a high quality um, broadcasting for all of the games, all 15 games in the Women's Championship. So it's going to be top quality presentation, proper graphics, proper statistics, proper look and feel for the whole women's tournament. So the quality of the uh, standard of broadcasting will be significantly improved as well as the access through various uh, television broadcasters and or on, online through our uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube channels, social channels. A very, very important part of how uh, people access and, and use and, and, if you like, feed off the Six Nations. It's a great access point for, for, the, for anybody who's interested in women's rugby and it's going to be a really, really uh, exciting new channel on the Championship. Well, we're very conscious that we have, a, we have an international obligation to, uh, to develop the women's game. And this is what's happening with uh, women's sport uh, throughout the world. And uh, in conjunction with that, uh, we have decided to invest in the women's end of things with the view to expanding the commercial aspects of the women's game in such a way to make the women's game self-supporting to a large extent. I think it's very important that, that, that the women get the best possible exposure uh, on the international scene and we are now for the first time uh, making the women's game available um, worldwide. Uh, we believe that a trial basis in one year and to be able to review it at that stage in conjunction with, um, with our television partners will be is the right way to go.